So today I wanna to share with you the universal law of money. If you wanna make more money, you're gonna to wanna to watch this short video. All right guys, what's going on? Uriel Kim here, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. And this video is gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. And it's the law of money. If you want to make more money, what I'm about to share with you is, is the formula, okay? And here's the thing. I think this is important because a lot of people are looking for shortcuts. You know, that's just the world we live in now, more so than before. And here's, here's what the law states, is the more people you help, the more money you make. End of story. Thanks for watching, but keep watching because there's more good stuff coming your way. So that's step number one, okay? So the more people you help, the more money you'll make. Here's a, a secondary law. The bigger problems you solve, the more you get paid. And if you think of these two things, let's just look at how they break down for a second. So let's look at the example of Elon Musk solving how do we fly to space? That's a pretty big problem. Is there any reason to doubt why he makes so much money? I mean, like, he only invented Tesla, co-founder of PayPal or early investor in PayPal, you know, one of the two. You know, here's a guy who's solving major, like, big size problems. And his pay or his net worth is a, re is a reflection of that. Take by contrast someone who is a trainer at a local gym, i.e. me 20 years ago, who is just helping people with the workouts, getting paid 20 bucks an hour. Different problem, right? Now, obviously, relatively speaking, someone who wants to lose weight, that's a big problem to them. But on the grand scheme of things, the bigger the problems that we can solve, the more money we're going to make. And the more people we can help in that ecosystem, the more money we're going to make. So I want you to, and, I, and I've mentioned this in a previous video too, but thinking bigger. If you have problems with people who have money, you will not make money. You will not achieve a certain level of, of wealth. We'll put it that way. Because you will not move in a direction of something you despise. If you think people are, if you think wealthy people are the devil, you don't want to become the devil. So there's this cognitive dissonance that's not going to allow you to do that. So you got to check yourself. You have to check yourself and ask yourself, is that true? Is it true that every single wealthy person is getting there at the expense of other people? Here's a belief that I have. Wealthy people become wealthy in the service of other people, not at the expense of them. Very, very different outcome, very different belief. Three simple shifts in words. At the expense of, in the service of. So if you want to make more money, number one, like you have to understand that you make money unless you're, like even if you're a drug dealer, like think of it like even if you're selling cocaine, you will make more money if your product gets into more people's hands, right? Like, it's simple. We're not selling cocaine. We're transforming people's health for the better. Cocaine does that, but for the worse. So it's really simple. You help more people. Now, the other thing, like a subcategory there, again, with that, like the bigger the problem you solve is you can help people at scale or you can help them at magnitude. So magnitude means like the depth at which you help someone, which is why you sell a book for 20 bucks, you sell a coaching program for 5,000. Because the depth or the magnitude of the work with that client is so much greater, therefore it commands a premium price. You're not going to charge $5,000 for a book because it's not a magnitude type of relationship. It's a scale play, right? You can sell hundreds of thousands of books at 20 bucks. How many of those people are going to transform their life? A very small percentage. You work with maybe fewer people at a much deeper level, how many of them are gonna transform your life? A much greater percentage. So there's two ways of really impacting more people is we can impact them at scale or we can impact them at depth slash magnitude. I think honestly both is great, but I would start with magnitude. 
Because <coughs> there's no sense in building your influence if you have no income. And it's very tough to build your influence if you have no income. Unless you have a smoking hot body and you're just doing these stupid sexual teasing videos on, on TikTok, right? But then it's just, it's just ridiculous. So when you focus on, I have a skill set. I have an expertise that can help people transform some aspect of their health. I'm going to work with them at a high level, magnitude, depth, get paid two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. That makes a lot more sense than trying to help hundreds of customers at $10 a month membership site type of thing, right? It just doesn't make sense. It's so hard to do that. My whole take is fill up your cup, right? Generate as much revenue as you possibly can in the service of other people. And then for everyone else who can't afford to work with you, give everything else away for free. Which is why in our business, we have the Health Business Accelerator, HPA, and our Luminaries Mastermind. Those are the only two ways you can give us money. That's it. And when I say give us money, I mean like obviously like we're helping you. It's not like a donation, right? But if you can't afford to work with us, that's fine. I'm going to give everything else for free. It, it's not worth my time to charge $97 for some stupid little product. It's not. Like, I've played that game in the past. It's a waste of time. Unless you have millions of followers. So that's why for us, it's like, I'm going to give away tons of value for free forever. And at some point, the right people will be like, man, this guy's the real deal. I'm going to work with him when I'm ready. That's the game plan, guys. That's the, that's the, there's no, there's no ulterior motive here. I love sharing content and I love helping you hopefully avoid a lot of the mistakes that I made. And I also understand that at some point when you're ready, you might be a little bit more likely to choose me if we choose you as well to work together, right? That's it. Like there's, it's, it's really that simple. And if we never work together, that's totally fine. Please enjoy all of my videos. Please enjoy the podcast. Please enjoy, you know, everything I put out there. Because for me, it, it's, you know, like the thing with, with helping people, the other, the other thing too is that like there's this element of reciprocity. So the more good you give out, the more comes back to you. So I, I know that if I put out just an endless amount of content, I win. And when I say, remember, like when I win, when you win, everyone else is winning, right? So I don't win unless you win. I don't win if you lose, right? You don't win if your audience loses. You win when they win. So by giving more good stuff into the world, eventually, the keyword is eventually, and at no specific timeline that I can, you know, determine in the future, it'll come back to you. And it may not come back to you from the specific person you were giving stuff to. Like in a specific relationship, like if, if you gave... One individual, like there are some people in our community, and I'm sure in yours too, that they just, you know, they just take all the free stuff in, right? And they're never going to, they're never going to work with us. And that's, that's okay. Like, I don't care. Like, if they're not a good fit, they don't want to, whatever. And I'm not going to hold a grudge about that because it's not about them. It's about at some point elsewhere, someone else will come in. And that's how the world works. It's never just like one-to-one, -one, tick for tat. It's that person might recommend us to someone else, right? Or maybe not. And it just comes back in. And the same thing's going to happen for you is you just help more people, right? Put more good stuff out into the world. It's you, you can't lose. You can't lose. But the key thing is you have to change your time frame. This is why you have to, have to, have to. Fill up your cup first. You see a lot of these like, I don't need to mention any specific names, but like a lot of these like influencers who, you know, have done very well in business and who are now just like doing podcasts and giving all this stuff out, like this content for free. The thing you have to remember is that they spent many, many years building very successful businesses to fill up their cup. And they did that by working with clients who paid them a premium price. And then they got to a level where they could step back and just talk all day to whoever they want to talk to because they understand the value of branding and getting yourself out there. And But the thing is, you can't do the opposite. You can't start off by being the influencer because number one, you have no track record. Number two, 
you don't have the revenue to support doing that. Like for the first two years of Healthpreneur, three years of Healthpreneur, we had no YouTube channel, we had no Instagram, we did nothing other than master paid traffic through our perfect client pipeline. That was it. And then eventually we added other stuff as we were able to. But I wasn't playing on Instagram trying to get clients. I mean, I could care less. Like this YouTube channel, you know, like it, it's it's not, I need these videos to make us money. It's not about like, it's not that. This channel is to put out hopefully epic content to serve as many people as possible. But if nothing happens from this channel for the next 10 years, I will still create videos because it's not about making money and getting clients from YouTube. It's about a long-term game plan knowing that at some point in the future, at some point in the future, some of the stuff will hit. And if it doesn't, that's totally fine because it probably helped a few people along the way. Like, I don't know if you can see this in the, sorry, up here, there is a plaque from YouTube. When we passed our first 100,000 subscribers on my previous channel, that has now the more, more than 300,000. But it took me like 10 years. It took me about 10 years to get that. And if you are hoping to make money in the near future, which you should and feel no qualms in saying that, because that's the point of business is to make money and specifically a profit, you can't do things like that and expect to get paid in the near future. Like Mr. Beast, the world's number one YouTuber, started when he was 13. He was a disaster for the first couple of years. He's in his mid early 20s now. And it took him a long time to crack the code. But he was obsessed. He was relentless about testing, editing, like just they were like, you know, he masterminded with other YouTubers every single day for like a thousand days in a row or something. It's crazy. You got to listen to stories like this because this is what it takes to win at the highest possible level. So again, the law of money is simple. The more the more money you want to make, the more people you have to help. That's that's it. If you want to make a hundred dollars. You don't have to help many people. If you want to make a million dollars, you have to help a few more. If you want to build a company that helps a hundred million or makes a hundred million dollars, you have to help a lot of people, right? So that's that's really like if you boil it down, it's as simple as that. And if you can help those people solve bigger problems, you will get paid more, right? So you want to make a hundred million dollars selling books? You're gonna to have to sell billions of books. You want to sell. Uh, you want to help? You want to build a hundred million dollar business, helping people take the biggest frustrations out of their out of their health. Like if you could do people sit ups for them, they would pay a premium for that. What is more valuable? And I'll tell you from first hand experience. If you don't know the answer, cooking someone's meals for them or giving them recipes to make on their own. Uh, cooking meals for them, which is why hiring a chef is more expensive than buying the groceries. So again, hiring a chef solves a bigger problem than here's the recipe or even here are the ingredients. I got them at the store delivered to your house. Do you see the difference there? So level one problem is I don't know what to make. Here's the recipe. Level two problem is I don't want to go to the store. Here are your groceries. Level three problem is I don't even want to make the food. I'll make it for you. And progressively, each one becomes a bit more expensive. So you have to choose what makes the most sense for you and understand that in accordance will be your pricing. And again, at scale, at volume, the more people you help, the more money you make. Cool? All right, I'll stop it there. I've spoken more than I needed to. You get the point. If you wanna make more money, help more people. If you make a ton of money, you're a greedy pig. Never, never, never. If you're a health professional, you should be absolutely as wealthy as you wanna be and feel no qualms about that because you recognize that your wealth is only the scorecard of the number of lives you've impacted. You are making money in the service of others, not at their expense. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the good stuff coming your way.